Hey, this is Matt, and we're off our couch in Sarasota, Florida. We're traveling south to the west coast of Florida to enjoy the long Thanksgiving weekend, and our first stop is Sarasota Jungle Gardens. Sarasota Jungle Gardens is home to a wide variety of birds and animals and features daily bird and reptile shows, animal interactions, and lots more. We last visited two years ago, actually during Thanksgiving weekend, so it's been nearly exactly two years since our last visit. We can't wait to revisit our favorite attractions and see what's new. So after buying our admission tickets and picking up a bag of flamingo food, which we'll need later on today, we're ready to start the day. First things first, it's time for one of the daily bird shows. The Jungle Bird Show features beautiful and talented parrots that are frankly show-offs. These birds have talent and they know it. They definitely don't mind flaunting their stuff and all of those bright, beautiful colors. This is a really cute show, entertaining, interactive, and educational. So now that the show is over, we're going to pick a path to see more. And my son is picking the birds a prey trail. Seeing the birds of prey is always interesting for me. I'm always thinking about those video clips where the huge birds sweep down, picking up animals and even sometimes small children. Ugh, scary stuff. Now along this path is a turtle pond and you can feed the turtles. The food can be purchased at the gift shop and there are also machines to purchase food near the animal feeding areas. But these turtles are obviously not hungry. They have a whole buffet of food floating around them. We're going to keep following the trail to the next exhibit, and I love this trail. It's so peaceful and so beautiful. It actually feels like the jungle without the threat of wild animals on the loose. Sarasota Jungle Gardens is set within 10 acres of lush tropical landscaping. Thousands of tropical plants, trees, and flowers have been imported and nourished within the garden and thrive alongside the native species. This is just an amazing walk but be sure to lather on that bug spray because as you can imagine, we are being brutally attacked out here. So the trail is taking us to the petting zoo and this goat is just vying for attention, just waiting to be petted. Strangely, neither one of my kids are into petting zoos. Uh, and this goat's tired of waiting, is moving on to others worthy of his or her attention. So we're back on the path and we must be in a small mammals area because we're in front of a Reese Muntjac, one of the smallest species of deer. Oh, so cute. My son is asking me if they make good pets. I'm explaining to him that this is a deer. <laughs> That's how high the cute factor is. So it seems we have hit the end of this path. There's construction happening for new exhibits coming soon. So we're gonna cross over to see the flamingos now. We can see them from here, and this right here is the main attraction for many visitors to Sarasota Jungle Gardens, including us. At the time of our visit, admission for adults ages 13 to 64 is $17.99, and children ages 4 to 12 is $12.99. And in my opinion, the flamingos are worth the cost alone. Sarasota Jungle Gardens is one of the few places where you can actually feed a flamingo and get this close to them. To be honest, I don't know of any other place where you can feed flamingos. If you know somewhere else and want to save me some time on Google, tell me in the comments, please. <laughs> Feeding the flamingos is a full sensory experience. You're looking at these magnificent creatures up close then you can feel them pecking at the food in your hands and feel the water too from their mouth. It's a strange and awesome experience. My son is getting brave and has started feeding the flamingos as well. He wouldn't even try it two years ago. So this is awesome that he's giving it a try. Uh, he thinks it's weird too, especially since you can feel the wetness of their beaks, but he thinks it's really cool and I do too. I told my friends two years ago that this is the strangest and coolest thing I've ever done in my life. And I think that's still true. Now my daughter hasn't started feeding the flamingos. She hasn't built up that much courage. She's enjoying tossing food in the direction of the ibises. I don't blame her. These gorgeous birds are taller than her. And after all this feeding, we still have plenty of food. We purchased the $3.50 bag. And there are machines that take quarters that dispense smaller amounts of food, which may be a good idea if you have a smaller group 
or don't plan to do a lot of feeding. In addition to the turtles and the flamingos, you can also feed the brightly colored koi at the koi pond in front of the Flamingo Cafe. So remember your quarters, there are machines here too. Since we're here at the Flamingo Cafe, we're gonna grab something to eat to hold us over because there's still a lot left to see. Flamingo Cafe offers sandwiches, salads, ice cream, and snacks like this huge bag of popcorn. Plus they have a huge playground here, so we need plenty of energy because that needs to be explored by the kids, of course. This playground is a really good size with a variety of play equipment. It's a nice wide area for kids to just be kids and burn off excess energy. And as you would expect, there is plenty of animal theming, so you'll be able to capture some really cute photos as well. The mural surrounded by the playground is designed and painted by talented students from the Ringling College of Art and Design located nearby. The mural reflects the numerous animals cared for by Sarasota Jungle Gardens. So there's a lot of animals displayed on this mural. And what I really enjoy about this playground setup is that animals are nearby also. A green iguana, gopher turtles, a group of ring-tailed lemurs that are just jumping all over the place. These are the most active lemurs I have seen. And this sulcata tortoise, which is humongous, is clearly on a mission. I'm not sure what this tortoise is trying to accomplish here. And this tortoise has done whatever it is that's happening here several times. But man, aren't they tough? I'm sure that move would have broke my neck. Moving on to see more reptiles, there is also an American alligator, an American crocodile, and a Siamese crocodile. And there is an indoor reptile exhibit, so we're gonna go in and check that out. So right at the entrance, there are a couple of smooth fronted caimans that don't even look real to me. But my husband is telling me that they actually sit this perfectly still. So I'm in a staring contest right now because I just don't believe this is real. And I've been proven wrong. The caiman just moved. Did you see it? That's crazy. Look, now they're constantly breathing and moving. So I can definitely move on to see the other reptiles in the exhibit. So there are a variety of snakes and lizards within this exhibit. And if you're reptile lovers like my son and husband, then you'll find this really interesting. So we're checking out another animal interaction now. And for this interaction, you do need to purchase a ticket. Two tickets come bundled in the Super Feed Bag, which includes flamingo, alligator, and turtle food for $15. Or you can buy interaction tickets for $5 a piece. The interaction ticket will grant you the opportunity to rub this gargantuan male Adabra tortoise, which weighs 550 pounds. This tortoise used to belong to a circus and is now a resident of Sarasota Jungle Gardens. Sarasota Jungle Gardens is home to more than 200 native and exotic animals, and many are rescued or donated. Just like this tortoise that's receiving so much love, I've never felt on a shell this large. I used to have red-eared sliders as pets, but that was years ago and they were small. So I would love to experience this animal interaction on our next visit. But we do have tickets we plan to use at the next interaction. At this interaction, you can pick a size of a bird, but not a certain bird because they have to take turns. We don't want any overworked birds. And you get to hold the perch and interact with the bird as they sit or move about the perch. This bird's name is Persephone and she has decided to dance for us. How wonderful. Now, when we came two years ago, they actually had the bird perch on your arm, which was a weird sensation. But obviously there can be problems with a bird perching on your arm. So now they're on a perch and it's really fun and cute. There is another interaction where you can hold an alligator as well as you can feed small alligators here too. And with that being said, you can easily spend an entire day here. We actually originally planned to just spend a couple of hours and then head to another attraction, but once my kids hit that playground, I knew that was a no-go. Sarasota Jungle Gardens is a full day of enlightenment and entertainment and being home to more than 200 native and exotic animals comprised of birds of prey, various species of macaws, primates, small mammals, reptiles, and free-roaming flamingos all within this lush tropical environment. I'm certain you'll find plenty to enjoy on your visit. The exit is through the gift shop, so the shopping begins. 
Uh, we did a really good job holding the kids off until we left because they were ready to grab some of these fun toys and trinkets as soon as we got here. There are just so many interesting toys, keepsakes, and souvenirs, and the kids have their purchases now and stickers. I survived the jungle at Sarasota Jungle Garden. Yes, we did. <laughs> we came out with about a couple hundred mosquito bites, but what an awesome day. I love this place. I highly recommend it. It's one of those places I will always visit when I'm in Sarasota. If I lived closer, I would get an annual pass. That's how much I love it. Well, I hope you liked this video. If so, please hit the thumbs up. And if you are planning a trip to Sarasota Jungle Gardens or have already been, tell us what your favorite animal interaction is or your favorite exhibit. We would love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe if you yet to do so. We have lots more to see here in Sarasota. So you also may want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new content. And click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.